This is assignment of stellar astrophysics of Ayuga NCRA Graduate School 2021. The assignment was to install MISA and run it for specific case of your choice and try to create output video. So I am using MISA web modules for experiments in stellar astrophysics web. On the home page there are different parameters that I can see and I can set. So for the meaning of parameters, I refer to this tab. So I know what different parameters mean what. For example, I have tried changing the initial mass, the set of nuclear reactions and the metallicity. The other parameters like convection mixing, the mass losses, the rotation, the resolution, etc. I have kept the same. And here I provided the email address where the output of the simulation of the entire star evolution was emailed to me and I downloaded it from there. So for the purpose of assignment, I have run the code for four different masses, 4.5 solar mass, 1.25, 10 and 90 solar masses. To interpret the output video files, the different graphs which are created, I have referred to this output file tab which tells which plot refers to what. This is the result right from pre-main sequence to off-main sequence. On the top left we can see the age of the star as it is proceeding. We can see since it is a very small mass star, the age is very large, 10 days to 11 years of the order of 10 days to 11 years. On the top right we can see the model number which is basically the uh, time slice that we are observing. The first graph talks about the abundances. On the x-axis we have the Lagrangian coordinate mass which acts like a signature for the radial distance from center. So basically x-axis goes from center of the star to the surface of the star. And on the y-axis we have mass fractions that is abundances of different nuclear species uh, like we can see hydrogen, helium, carbon etc. and how they change with time. The next second graph is the Kippenhahn diagram which displays the interior of the star as it evolves from pre-main sequence to the later stages of evolution. The x-axis is the model number which is basically the continuously updating, updating time axis and the y-axis is the Lagrangian mass coordinate. So different regions are indicated by different colors. For example, we can see the areas which have convective uh, energy transport, the areas which have nuclear burning going on, the areas which are cooling, etc. The graph on the right, there are three graphs which talks about the profiles of pressure, density and temperature as a function of Lagrangian mass coordinate or the distance from the center. And on the bottom left, we have the popular HR hertzsprung russell diagram which has temperature on its x-axis increasing leftwards and luminosity on the y-axis. So we can see the evolution of different stars on the HR diagram as a result of this simulation. Also from the age written on the top left corner, one thing to notice is that uh, we can compare this number for different stars and we can observe that the stars with higher masses as they have faster burning of nuclear fuel, they last much shorter. So the lifetime of less massive stars is more than those of massive stars.